my name's Madeline and welcome to my channel Dollhouses, Miniatures and More by Madeline. In this video I will feature a do-it-yourself project where I paint a birdhouse and I will also give you a brief history of the birdhouses and how they began. Now I just got done painting my home and I wanted to paint this very cute whimsical birdhouse the same colors that I painted my home. I'm trying to decide where I should place the colors. I think I'm only going to work with the two colors that I painted my home. I could introduce more color to these doors and the door frame, but I really don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to stick with the Colorado Trail color, which is a tan, and the deep brown color, and just introduce those two colors to this very cute birdhouse. So I think I've decided that I will definitely be painting the roof a deep brown, the windows a deep brown, the base of the birdhouse, the Colorado Trail, the little doors the deep brown, the sides a deep brown, the steps the Colorado Trail, and the platform the deep brown. Now that I've decided what colors I'm going to paint the house, I want to make sure those are the colors and those are the right places where I want to paint them. I'm just going to sit back and look. And I've decided, yes, I'm just going to go with the two colors of my home. So now I have the Colorado Trail, which is in the tan family. It's a very southwest color because I do live in Arizona so I wanted to paint my home and also my birdhouse in a very southwestern color. I do love to do do-it-yourself projects. I believe they're a lot of fun. They're very relaxing and they can save you a lot of money. For example, I was looking at some birdhouses on the internet and they were already painted and they wanted between 40 to over a hundred dollars for them in this size and I decided to go to the store and see if I could find a similar birdhouse and I was lucky and I found this birdhouse for five dollars it was 50% off so I wound up paying five dollars for the birdhouse and the paint is free because it's the leftover paint from when I was painting my home. So I'm really enjoying so far putting this beautiful color on this birdhouse. And this birdhouse reminds me of the birdhouses I used to see in the Amish country, which were quite lovely and built by the Amish craftsmen. But I was studying the history of uh, birdhouses, I found it very interesting. It said that in the 16th and 15th centuries, the Turkish people invented birdhouses and they made them very elaborate. They would make them with beautiful tiles, beautiful brick and mortar, and they were quite lovely. And they mainly built these beautiful birdhouses for swallows and sparrows. And that was to keep the birds out of the harsh weather. So I thought that was kind of interesting that the Turkish people in the 15th and 16th century built these elaborate tiled birdhouses. Then I was reading that in Europe, hundreds of years ago, they would build birdhouses out of clay. Now I have bought some clay birdhouses and they said they would build the birdhouses out of clay in a place like Holland and sometimes they would want to attract a certain bird for its eggs as a food source. In the Americas, however, the Native Americans would build their birdhouses out of birch bark. And the Native Americans built birdhouses primarily to, again, shelter the birds 
from the harsh winter weather. So in the spring and summer, there would be an abundancy of birds and that the birds would stay safe and multiply. Then I found it interesting that the Native Americans taught the art of birdhouse building to the settlers who also built it of birch and who also used it to harbor and the birds to keep them safe from the harsh weather. I also was reading that in Colonial Williamsburg, they had found old magazines and ledgers, and they saw that many of the settlers in Williamsburg, Virginia, owned glass birdhouses. The birdhouses were made of glass bottles that they would even make themselves or they would buy. And the reason why the settlers in Virginia used uh, these glass birdhouses where they wanted to attract the birds so the birds would eat the insects that were considered pests. So I thought that was a pretty interesting history and I enjoyed reading it. And if you would like to learn more about the history of birdhouses, you can look it up and I think you'll find it quite interesting. I usually like to know the history of things the reason why I love birdhouses is because they remind me of dollhouses so much. And I'm loving the color of this. I'm not going to be painting the whole birdhouse on camera. I'm just going to paint some of it. And then when I'm done with the project, I can show you what it looked like. And as you can see, the color a little clearer there with the light on. So I'll just paint some of it. And when I'm done, I'll just show you what the finished project looks like. I'm going to be placing this beautiful birdhouse in front of my home, right in front of the front door. I have this little piece of dirt and I'm going to mount the birdhouse on a pole. And then around the birdhouse, I will put flowers underneath it. And it should look very welcoming. I usually have a birdhouse in front of my home. Now I feel that birdhouses are just very appealing and they can add a lot of curb appeal to the front of your home and they're very whimsical and they look great in a backyard and they really create a peaceful landscaping. It's just such a nice feeling to have birdhouses either hanging from trees or maybe on top of a pole or just different places that people keep birdhouses. And um, I was thinking if I'm lucky, I might have a little bird family um, make a, a little nest in this birdhouse and that would be lovely. I wouldn't disturb the birds, but it would be lovely to see maybe a cute little family of birds make a nest in this cute little birdhouse. Uh, like I was saying before, I lived not too far from the Amish country in Pennsylvania, so I would visit it often. And you would see these birdhouses everywhere um, placed on poles in, in the Amish farms, and they were just strikingly beautiful. And the Amish people are very good craftspeople. And they know how to build things really nice. Uh, but the prices were very expensive, as they should be, because they spent a lot of time on their craft building the birdhouses. So you would expect to pay a lot of money for a finished birdhouse. I'm going to end the painting of my beautiful whimsical birdhouse now. And as I was telling you, I will be painting the roof and the windows and some of the other details on this birdhouse a deep brown and i think the two colors of the colorado trail which is a tan and the deep brown will go very well together and contrast very nicely so through the magic of youtube i will return with my finished birdhouse and I will also show you what the birdhouse looks like in front of my home 
but since I'll be done with the birdhouse at night time, I will have to take a picture of the birdhouse in front of my home at night time. And I hope that you'll be able to see it. And then in another video, I can take a picture of this gorgeous birdhouse during the day in front of my home. So let's go through the magic of YouTube. We'll see the finished product. And here is my do-it-yourself birdhouse finished product. I hope that you like it. I had a really fun time painting this beautiful, whimsical birdhouse and saved a lot of money in the process painting it myself. I do love the way the colors contrast each other. The nice Colorado trail tan color with the deep brown color. Now I will show you what the beautiful birdhouse looks like all finished and decorated in front of my home. And here's what my gorgeous whimsical birdhouse looks like all finished and it's put on the post and I put some plants around it and this is what it looks like at nighttime in front of my home. I hope that you enjoyed my feature video of my do-it-yourself painting a birdhouse to save money and I did this project for five dollars so I hope that you will like this video share this video make nice comments on this video and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel dollhouses miniatures and more by Madeline and I hope that you will come back and visit me soon Bye for now, and I hope to see you soon.